Hi guys! We've got a fairy oracle review, unboxing, all of that kind of stuff. So if you like looking at new tarot decks, I got you covered. Okay, so I did take all of the um, not saran wrap stuff off because that is a nightmare to watch me have to play with. We've got a little ribbon here to help you take the box, the cards out of the box. It's a nice little box. We've got our book, right? Um, we've got languages in here. Don't laugh. We actually have different languages that are not English in here. Let's see if it tells us in the beginning. Yeah, English, Italian, Spanish, French, Portuguese, and maybe Russian? Which means this deck is from Los Gabero. I'm going to have to figure out how to pronounce that, right? Okay, so to page 31 is our English section. This is our English section. Don't let the book freak you out. Um, we've got spreads. We've got using the deck. We've got each card. It is an oracle deck, so we don't have the normal 78 cards. Um, we've got some information on fairies because this is a fairy deck. Let me see if it gives me the information. How many cards? 36 cards in this deck. Okay. So this deck is kind of a not normal sized deck. It's a fatter deck, right? It's bigger than my palm. See? And it is very old looking pictures. You can see by me wiggling the card that it's very glossy. The um, card stock that it's built on is kind of a nice stock. Uh, it is a, feels a little thin, but it's also feeling, I can bend it easier than some of the other ones we've reviewed, okay? It might be kind of difficult to shuffle this so keep that in mind if shuffling is an issue. And we can already see that that little bit of plank has pulled the um, the card away. Okay, it's caused it to bend. Here we have card number one. We've got a baby and a fairy, and it looks like fish. This is, in my opinion, very folklore-y, very... Um, the old stories of fairies it's not any sweet fairy this has got to be the fairy he looks kind of like a gnome or she looks kind of like a gnome very um middle e middle ages ideas so if you're looking for sweet tinkerbell fairies this is not the deck for you this one looks like it might be part of the great hunt um here we have another fairy she's up here in the corner and i don't know what the heck that is a fountain with some bones, some itty bitty little elf fairies. This one looks like, um, there's three fairies here. They look like they're planning something. This looks Santa Claus like. Santa Claus was considered a fairy for a very long time. This one is another The Great Hunt, The Wild Hunt looking card. This is kind of dark. I'm loving it. I love the old, old, old myths sort of thing. So this is great for me, but if that's not your thing, you're not going to want this deck probably. We will find a card in a minute and look through the booklet. Um, another very old folklore, like old folklore, 100 years ago folklore. This looks like some bats with some fairies. This is the cover card, the cover of the box. Let me show you the back. That reminds me, I didn't show you the back. You can read it in reverse if you want. I don't know why you would read an oracle in reverse, but that's, if that's your thing, that's your thing. Here we have some nettles, some pricklies. I was gonna say they're dead, but they might not be dead. And some fairies. So everything in here has got a fairy. Here is like the fairy pr probably planning on creating a changeling. That is something that kind of scares people, so you might not want this deck. Here we've got some fairies tricking this old dude probably. Here 
Here's some other scary fairy looking things. I could have swore that was somebody's butt. Let me show you. This part right here, I could have swore was somebody's butt, like they were kicking his ass. Here we have like European fairies, very uh, Victorian England because of that top hat. More fairies. This little trickster dude. An elf, maybe. I don't know. My mom was wicked when I was little. She would read us very old stories, me and my sister. Um, my grandma also did the same thing, like Cinderella didn't put her shoe on. She got her foot cut off kind of thing. Or the sister's actually not Cinderella. So this kind of folk tales, this kind of card deck really is awesome in my opinion. I hope that didn't show up. Um, it's really awesome in my opinion because it does show the scary fairies, not the sweet Tinkerbell, Disney kind of stuff. That stuff in my opinion is totally hogwash. Um, if you agree with that, this book deck is probably for you. I keep saying the same thing, huh? There's not really much that you can say with an Oracle deck. And the point of the video isn't for me to really give like a whole bunch of my opinion when I'm unboxing it. It is to kind of show you what's going on in the deck in case you're like, oh, I don't know. That's what I do. I look at, I see something and I'm like, oh, I kind of like that card. So then I have to go and research the deck to see if I like all of the cards or if I just like that one card. Because what's the point of owning a deck if you have only one card that you like? Um, sometimes when you become, from what I've been told in my own experience, when you become a collector sort of a person, you uh, you have your card and you'll buy a deck just because your card fits with you. So here we have the Dancer, card number 13. I'm going to read you number 13 in here while I show you this card because it looks like bats to me. And I love bats. They're freaking bats! Okay. Two warning factions meet high in the darkened sky. Fairy warriors weld bows and staffs rushing in to meet the bats threatening their home. The meaning, send out the troops. This is a time for physical engagement, for defending your own rights, and for protecting the valuables. It is the time to stand up. Dangers are lurking around. Combative force may be necessary at this time. Stand your ground and don't back down. It is a hard lesson to take, but danger does appear in life, and it must be met and dealt with properly. Okay? So, some people would say, like, oh, that's a negative card. I'm personally loving it. I'm not sure if I like the fact that the fairies are fighting the bats, because it's freaking bats. But I like this card. This is actually one of the cards that I saw that attracted me to the deck. It made me want it. And then when I started researching a little bit more, I'm like, oh my God, these are the old creepy fairies. I have to have this deck because I've got the pretty decks, right? Even though they're like, oh, this is a dark fairy deck. They're still very calm and very pretty. This is the stories I grew up with. This is like the images that were in my head when they were reading me those stories. That's why I got this deck. So if you liked my rambling and we vibed, if you like the deck and you vibed, you're gonna wanna get a copy of it. I got this deck off of Amazon, it's like $16. Um, I will post pictures of it on the website so you can see it more just in case you didn't have enough chance to see it here. You'll be able to go there and look at it. So that way you can decide if it's the deck for you because how I said, I research it and I wanna see all of the deck before I decide on buying it. So I'll do that for you. And again, if you liked the video, and it was really something you enjoyed let me know so i can keep making some more for you if you think somebody else would like the video share it subscribe hit the notification bell all of that fun stuff so that way you'll be aware when i do stuff all right thank you so much for watching it was an honor showing you this deck today it was fun talking with you and hanging out with you have a great day bye